Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to American versus British public schools. Um, I guess this is a comparison. I don't know what sort of comparisons there'll be, but I guess it would just show the differences in general things, like how long your days are, uh, maybe uniform and stuff. I mean, we we wore uniform in the in the UK. I think every public school wears a uniform in the uk and that's not the same in the us at all so i mean yeah we're going to check this out hopefully going to enjoy links are in the description to my patreon if you want to see some more of my reactions to different things but american versus british public schools i oh god school i parts of me miss school because i was it was fun but i also hated it so much certain years of school were fun but then when it got to like the end like when you're like approaching the end of school it was just like ugh, it's just dragging at this point but i do miss certain parts of school just messing around with your friends not having to worry about the, like the real world you know all that stuff i do miss parts of it but hey maybe this will be a little bit of a throwback for me but yeah let's jump into this you cool wait i've just clocked p if you go to british school you called mr bell a bell <laughs> Oh, uh, this sort of stuff. Uh, this is my. Ah, uh, this is the sort of stuff. Just the sort of immature stuff that used to go on at school. But <laughs> what the fuck? To bear a bell ends and a pervert. Yeah. Hello, you are. Yeah. What's this? What's this? Oh, I'm going out. Intervention. That's so loud. What the fuck? WTF? I'm sorry to hear Oh, this clip is so iconic, man. What is she even saying? Oh, then what have I done there? I'm really sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry you're going to know, guys. You can't catch a word of what she's saying. I'm sorry to hear that your grandma passed away. I actually am that all the time with me. I'm going to be upset about that in the air. No, no, miss. How dare you speak to me like that? Turn around. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. No. Come here now. Come here now. Get out. Suck your mum. What the hell, but <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh what? Wait, were there foods would you like that? This has just gotta be a joke. Bro. Oh my goodness. No way, this is just one person's bad meal. I used to love school meals, man. I used to love especially in um primary school. So when you're really young, the school meals were so good, the hot meals. <laughs> to be honest, if we're talking about public schools, British schools and American schools are quite similar, but different, if you get what I mean. The law is quite similar, <coughs> and the types of students and teachers and the things that be going on in school are quite similar. But some of you students in the US get confused with the differences, as there are some key differences from each territory. One difference is the grading system. The Brit and American grading system can be- Our grading system changed in the UK. I was the first year of a new grading system. Be a bit confusing. So allow me to briefly explain what it is. So your school journey starts at the age of three and at age three to four you go to nursery in both the us and the uk in age four to five in the reception. us you go to preschool but in the uk you go to reception yep yes why the fuck would us brits call preschool reception but that shit ain't my fault go ask the motherfucker that invented it anyways <laughs> in five to six you're at kindergarten but here in the uk year one you're in year one yeah so from year one to year six you fill this primary school. wait kindergarten what the hell? This f I thought kindergarten was nursery. The f so you're quite you're not actually that like you're obviously young. But I thought kindergarten was like three, four. But no, it's a bit older. School in the UK, however, in the US, from first grade to fifth grade, you finish elementary or primary school. And you might be asking, why don't we have both UK and US grading systems in the same years? Why is the UK a grade above? Because instead of your US motherfuckers naming age five to six first grade you all really decided to name it kindergarten like why makes no sense anyways after you finish primary school in the u.s you start middle school and you're in sixth grade at this time then you finish middle school after eighth grade after that you start high school in ninth grade or freshman year and finish and graduate high school after the 12th grade or senior year then if you want to go to college you use your gpa or you take the sat to briefly explain what a gpa and sat 
are for my audience not from the US. A GPA means grade point average. It can be calculated on a yearly basis or for your whole course as a whole. All your assignments, tests, work you've done is all added up and calculated throughout the year to get a grade point. And the SAT is a test or an exam taken to go to college pretty much. Get it? Capiche. Obrigado. In the UK, you start secondary school in year 7 and you finish secondary school all the way up to year 11. Yes, I don't know why we call it years, but if I'm being honest, I'd rather call it years than grade. Why would you call it grade? Why would you call a whole thing that you mark your test with a whole year? Just call it year. Stop calling it grade. That's some bozo ass shit. But anyways, in year 11, you take your final exam year. Oh, uh, this is, the, this is what year seven. That's all it all leads to, man. In high school, the GCSEs, this is all like what it leads up to. And then throughout the summer, you take all these tests. In year 11, you take your final exam year have been preparing for six years, seven. That's almost four years. These are exams are called GCSEs or IGCSEs. After you finish that, you go to further education for the course you have chosen to do in year 11. For example, courses like history, art, languages, religious studies, computer science, whatever, whatever. Further education in the UK is called sixth form or college and you're in year 12 and 13 or junior and senior years there. Then you finish school and choose wherever you want to go to higher education like university or not. In the UK, we have half terms or Canada terms and in the US, they call them terms semesters. Now, when you guys watch another school video, you won't be confused if a UK YouTuber or US YouTuber is talking about it and you will know exactly what they're talking about in proportion to the countries. Get it? Thank me later. Anyways, we're going to be talking about middle and high school and secondary school in particular. The students in the US have the freedom to wear their own clothes. Mm. However, in the UK, we have to wear school uniforms. And hell, school uniforms are taken very seriously over here in the UK. If you miss any school... Mate, uh, there was a point... When I first got to my high school, you could sort of be... You could you just have to wear black trousers. They don't have to be school trousers and black shoes. So you could wear like I don't know any black shoes, Air Forces or whatever. Like you could wear whatever shoes, just they have to be black. And then it got to the point where you literally just have to wear the poshest shoes, school trousers had to be a specific color, and it was just like it was hell. I hated it so much, but that's just part of the system here. But you'd get in so much. You'd literally like if you say you wore shoes that weren't suitable you'd get like i don't know what sort of things they'd literally make you change your shoes that's one example they say you refuse to change your shoes they'd probably send you home i think those sort of things happen because there was just certain kids who just wouldn't do that or certain yeah you know, certain people who wouldn't do that so they just wouldn't change their shoes and then they'll just get sent home it's like what the f is that really that important i understand it's maybe setting you up for the real world but come on uniform like your blazer don't button up your high collar loose tie suck your trousers or bring anything that's not black school shoes <laughs> prepare yeah. to get crucified by the teacher and to be honest i'm not even mad that you can't even wear your own clothes in english schools because it's a hassle to choose the best clothes and you don't want to be the guy that is known for wearing the same clothes over <laughs> and over again that's just long <laughs> plus my closet is so mid so i would yeah. rather wear a school uniform yeah, it's that's a good point to be honest. Back in these days, I didn't have many clothes either, so that probably wouldn't have been the best thing. Easy to pick out and wear, and no one can judge you because they are wearing the same thing. It's a win-win. It's cool that some of you are coming wearing your own clothes, but tell me why some of you guys wear the most serious garbage to school. Like, motherfuckers be wearing pajamas, skirts, made outfits, suits with shorts, or some shit. And the emo girls and the C girls are literally a different story. I can't even lie to you. That's for a whole nother video. And the shoes y'all be wearing should be a sin in the Ten Commandments or some shit. Like how y'all unironically go into your closet, pick and wear some trash and think it was a good idea to go to school. Like y'all <laughs> definitely need your parents to start dressing y'all again or something. But these are some of the people that stretch me. Obviously some of y'all kind of dress relatively well. In the UK, if some motherfuckers misbehave in Australia being a menace in class or outside of class, there are levels to the punishment depending on their offence. Level one, you get a warning. Level two, they screamed your lungs out of you. Level three, he said you get taken out of class. I'm an I'm a experienced pro. There's a point, I don't know if he's gonna mention it, you get taken out of class, you have to wait outside for a little bit. They might, they'll come out after a few minutes, talk to you and then you'll come back in. If you keep being naughty, you'll go to, it changed in my school. Is that isolation? No, it wasn't isolation. There was another one. You get a detention. Level four, you get something called isolation. isolation. The real rebels and the menaces that have no regard to life go in these <laughs> isolation. To briefly explain what isolation is, it's basically a discipline where you get removed out of class and go to a certain booth room where it's just yourself, your work, 
and teachers watching your every move. And <laughs> To be fair, isolation where I was really wasn't that bad. It was just people. Say you, you, you just whatever happened. You just get people from all years that would go to the same room, and then it would end up just being a joke because the teachers there were always just so relaxed about it that I had. Obviously, it's different for other people, but when I was there at my school, the teachers were always just chill about it. It was like the most fun part. If you're doing work or not, just think of it as in a prison where you're an inmate in your cell and guards are watching what you do. Then the final level is a suspension in the US. Actually, no, it was quite bad. It wasn't actually the best. You have to be quiet and stuff. You can't do anything. Now, actually, no, it was quite bad. And so if you weren't being quiet and stuff, I think something would, like you would get in more trouble. You get like detentions for a certain amount of time, or just you'd miss break time or lunch time or whatever, so you wouldn't be able to do certain things. Which is kind of wild. I mean, I can understand if you misbehave, you're going to miss your lunchtime, which is your biggest break, which is around an hour. But say your school's, what, eight hours, seven and a half, eight hours. Yeah. And then you're you're not allowed to have your break. How are you going to like be able to like enjoy the rest of the day? Because you're just going to be so fed up of, I don't know, just whatever. Like, you need a break from these things. It's the same thing, pretty much. The only difference is that they don't have isolation. You get suspended and excluded depending on their offense. Apparently, physical punishments are legal in some states. That's really kind of wild to me. I can't even <laughs> lie. Like, imagine getting your ass beat because your dog ate your homework. I thought that only existed in Africa because me personally, I went to school in Ghana. And if you misbehave in any way, psh, huh, just know that you're in for the whoopings of your life. So I ain't gonna care for you, bruv. It's gonna be absolutely long for you. In the UK, school lunches were decent. The canteen at least made somewhat of an effort to I make like the student lunches. meal nice and digestible. Students in the UK would always look forward to a school lunch. Like, as soon as the class finished, these motherfuckers would leave the class and sprint it. straight out of class to the canteen just to be in the canteen line early. Because if you were last, your favorite food would have run down and you would have to settle for the garbage. That like, is these- so true, man. You had to run on certain days. On Friday, it was, all, it was always chips. This is in high school. And like there was a certain food for every day, but in primary school, it was, primary school was better because you just had hot food and it was all there. Like in high school, you might not be able to get any food because it's going to be taken. But yeah, I do remember everyone used to run for lunchtime. They'd just sprint straight to the, to the food places. These motherfuckers would sprint to the cafeteria with speed on power Sonic or this motherfucker. In yeah. the US, from what I've seen, school lunches is some of the worst foods I've ever seen served to students in history. What I mean, fuck? look at this. This can't be real. This has just got to be... S- what? No way. This is just people... <laughs> this can't be real. This shouldn't be allowed of any sort. Whose idea was it to be serving this garbage? If school chefs are serving this, they must really despise their jobs and despise the students there. Like, what the hell is this? What is it? I can't lie, I feel sorry for you guys in the US because if they did this foolishness in the UK, I would personally deport myself back to Africa because at least they made some good and ready cooked meals. Then when you finally finish school after years, been about damn time. In the US, you graduate high school. There's a ceremony to commemorate the work you did in high school. The seniors will receive their high school diplomas and the class president will give out a graduation speech. But from what I've seen, some of these speeches are one of the most awkward but funniest pieces of non-fiction I've ever watched. Imagine if the types of students like the depressed kid or the menace kid had a graduation speech. Like, motherfucker, I will pay to watch that shit, man. Motherfuckers did crazy shit in this ceremony as well as like, how do you have the balls to do this? Graduation also includes gift and the best- <laughs> What the f- the grad parties. Did y'all ever go to grad parties? Let me know down in the comments down below. Compared to the UK, when we finished year 11, aka 10th grade, and our GCSE, we basically finished secondary school. Yeah, but I remember this last day of school, you literally got everyone in the year to you like, signed each other's shirts, and everyone signed your shirts, and then I think we just had that, like you just done stuff for the you had like a longer summer off, you had like 10, 11 weeks off, and you could just do whatever. But I think after school. It's like parties and stuff. To see, we basically finished secondary school and we have an assembly of rewards for the yep. students who did their best stuff like subjects, good behavior, who did the most work, 
DCT. And then a final thank you and goodbye. Some wholesome stuff. After the assembly, we celebrate after the school signing the shirts with boards and pens, writing heartwarming <laughs> messages like good luck and stuff. Like, I can't even lie, this was one of the most wholesome stuff mm. I've ever done as a celebration of finishing school ever. And of course, the best thing about finishing secondary school was prom. Prom was definitely my favorite part of finishing. It. the party happened at night the parties were like raves the djs were playing classic car songs everyone ate and danced it was too late unfortunately um, i did not have a prom date but i still took these cold photos of the girls oh i'm just that guy g too much risk you know like overall which one is better american high school or british high school i will answer this with no bias and we'll be choosing which one is better based on five different categories overall enjoyment education food the students and the teachers. In terms of the food, the UK wins by one point because I don't have to repeat myself again. How low effort and straight out garbage the food is in an American high school. Now, over in German, I've not been to an American high school before, so I can't really speak on that. So I'll give one point to both schools. For the education system, we all have to agree that UK schools are better. Most of you are in the US, therefore know damn well you don't pay attention to those boring ass classes. In the UK, yeah, at least make them somewhat engaging. In terms of the people, therefore one point to the American high schools. I don't need to go to the US to know that people in American high school are very vibrant and social and yeah. they just have way more character to them. Motherfuckers in the UK are just mint, including myself. I was the most quiet and the most boring yes man in my school. I didn't speak unless I was spoken to and I just did what my teachers told me to do. I was literally just the biggest NPC. The only thing that was interesting about me was that I was just naturally goofy and I looked like celebrities like Lil Nas X or footballers like Bakuyo Saka or Samuel Titi. That's what everyone told me. But I digress. Teachers in UK schools are very strict as they care about your education. But obviously, not all of them care about your education. And I do not know how the teachers are in an American school, so I will give one point to the But point. teachers in my school were terrible. We always just had sub substitute teachers. Our teachers were always missing, so... Yeah, for me, our teachers were so bad. Schools for the teachers. So British schools have the most points overall, so pretty much British high school wins. No biasness, just the facts. Uh, so let me know if you want me to do a part two of this video. I appreciate well, there we go. You... This is an interesting video. Depending on where you grew up in America and which schools you went to, it could be fun and you can still learn a lot. I still I attend American public school and I can tell you exactly what happened with our lunch and why it looks like that. It's not that our lunch ladies hate us. It's that back in the early 2010s, Michelle Obama passed the law which it required schools to make school lunches healthier, but they didn't. It only lowered the quality. So wait, are they just really bad then? I loved school meals so much. I genuinely like loved having school meals. Um Never had anything like that. Yeah. I'm sure not all food looks like that, man. Come on, that looks horrible. But um yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. And which school do you think is better? I mean I guess if there's any of you that have been to both, maybe you can answer, but no one can really answer this because you believe you went to just American schools or British schools. But um, yeah, until next time, like, subscribe, and peace.